coach, you guys. Are you going to listen to me? Are you going to go on? Okay. We're going to listen to you. Good. Listen up, guys. This is a witness for Christ, and this is my heart. And it goes like this. Jesus' name is what brought my life change. I was always shifting, sifting the blame. When he stood up and called my sin by his name. Selfishness, lost in pride. These are the reasons he suffered, bled, and died. I tried to justify my actions, fill my life with everything that would be a distraction. But in my heart, there was always dissatisfaction, always something lacking. I knew there was more I was meant to live for, but I also knew it wouldn't come without sacrifice. Because everything that enticed only brought me further down in the hole where nothing would suffice. Seeing things getting deeper and darker, I cried out, committed myself to the way that I knew would be harder. For starters, I have to admit that I was not what I always thought I was, a pretty good person with very few flaws. I was a beast, raging with its cause. Others' feelings wouldn't even cause me to pause if they got in the way of what I wanted for myself. Meanwhile, Christ thought of and died for me while I justly deserved the torments of many hells. How did I expect to stand in the beauty of his glory? While in my heart I had thought things that compared to Christ's purity were nothing but bloody and glory. Surely I would have reaped what I had sown, but I now stand here free before you because I've been atoned, and Christ got alone as I washed clean. My dreams are now life because of what he's done for me. He exchanged my happiness, always haunted by death, for eternal joy. He has breath is down my physical lungs, but by speaking Christ's name, it is in my tongue. Eternally, my life has begun. My victory has been won in the only begotten Son. I urge you guys to have a saying. Turn to Christ, be saved from hell, and live free from shame. Praise you, Lord. guys. Don't let the trash and deception in there. Amen. Praise the Lord.